Hello everyone! Welcome back to Glow Up with Rache. I am Rache. If you're new to my channel, welcome back to Glowing Up with Me. And if you notice, I have a different smile, <laughs> which I'm very, 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 very excited and proud of. Let me let you guys see close up. Okay, this is a natural natural smile that I am very happy about and I'm just going to take you guys through my journey and this is going to be part one of getting my affordable veneers and the whole process and journey. So for those of you who are loyal fans and follow my pages throughout which is my TikTok, my Instagram, my YouTube, my other YouTube pages and everything that I have done in the past which is my weight gain journey and other journeys. So I thank you for being loyal and I'm grateful for you. But this is a new journey of mine. Uh, in the past I've talked about getting veneers. I think Oh my god i've talked about getting veneers for years guys for years i even went into the process of the composite um composite veneers i don't know if it's composite or composite veneers um a few years back and it was not a good match for me with a known company that actually sponsored me and um paid for the advertisement and I was happy in that moment because I had a new smile in that moment but the smile was not right for me if that makes sense so if you look back I think all the way back to my first video which is um how to glow up you'll see those in my mouth and they actually poked out my mouth a little bit they was not natural at all which these are very natural they are scanned to my regular teeth so they were scanned my mouth was scanned so it will fit more natural and just have a natural look and a better look and a better appearance i've been wanting veneers for so long guys i've been wanting my teeth to be fixed but the process was so scary to me i am petrified and i mean petrified of the dentist well i was i'm not anymore because i went through this whole process it's a long story yes i'm gonna tell it I went through this whole process. I'm petrified of needles. I'm petrified of the dentist. And I seen all these people getting their teeth um, rejuvenated and, and improved and um, evolved into something beautiful. And I'm like, wow, why can't I do it? If they can do it, I can do it. Come on. Like, it's not a competition thing, but it's like I've been wanting to do this. And they were giving me the inspiration to do it. And they gave me the push. So everybody, everybody that I was seeing on TikTok, on Instagram, I even followed um, dental pages for years, you know, looking at the before and after pictures of these beautiful teeth makeovers. And I'm like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So I finally made up my mind about three months ago, I think May. I told my sister, I called her up and I said, I'm going to get them done. And she's like, yeah, okay, I'm going to get them done with you, um, my sister. And she's like, I'm going to get them done with you. I said, okay, I'm serious. I'm going to get them done. It's nothing you can like say. I'm going to do it. I'm, and when I say I'm going to do something, I do it. And she knows like when I put my mind to something, when I say, no, this is it. I'm really going to go through with it. I'm done. I do it. Like she knows I'm a serious B-I-T-C-H when it comes to me saying I'm going to do it. So it's no turning back after that. After the after May, I went to the dentist. I did research um, in my area for a local dentist to get my teeth right before the veneer process. I know I see some people just go and get their veneers done without having any dental work prior to the process. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to make sure my mouth was uh, renewed, refreshed, any cavities they need to take care of, uh, fillings, extractions, root canals, anything they have to do. I want them to do it before I get my veneers done because I've seen, like I said, I did a lot of research and I've seen the process of women and people in general getting their veneers done and then having to do root canals after. And I'm like, why the heck I want to do that? I don't want to do that. I want to get everything out the way so I can have a, a brand new mouth. 
<laughs> once I get them done. Brand new process once I get them done. So I took care of everything I needed to take care of. And, and you see in my other videos and pictures that my teeth was very crooked. They were stained. Um, not plaque buildup, but stained teeth because I'm a tea drinker. I was drinking tea since uh, black tea since I was um, 16, maybe. I was a caffeine drinker. I was a Pepsi drinker. Uh, I was. I'm not. I don't drink Pepsi anymore. Thank God. I drink only water and tea. But I still drink tea. So, um, and those were caffeine stains on my teeth, uh, and I had those literally for years. So even if the if the dentist whitened them or whatever, they still would remain stained. Um, they were very crooked. They were crowded at the bottom. I had a teeth up here that was um, poked out, so kind of like a fang. Um, I And to me, I was still was doing my videos. I still was doing my thing because I still was confident. But it was that little thing. You know, if everybody wants to fix something, it's fine. Go ahead and fix it. It's your body. It's your life. Like, if you want to be happier and, and boost your confidence level, then do whatever you want to do to get it right. And I'm, I, it's no judgment at, for me. And it should, be, it should not be no judgment from anybody else. Um, but I've been wanting to do this for a very, 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 very long time. And my teeth were pretty bad, not because of hygiene reasons, but because of genetic reasons. So my fam, I come from a family that has not the best teeth in the world <laughs> like that's just the truth like my family one side does not have well kind of both sides i guess don't have the best teeth in the world and genetically passing down you know i got the crowded teeth i wish i had braces earlier um but that's not anybody's fault. But if I had the braces earlier, it probably would be taken care of. But even people that I know that have braces, um, teeth shifted back and it's just a whole lot of work and it's a process. So I wanted this quicker option um, to get my teeth straight, white, and pretty. So yeah, so it was genetic reasons. And a lot of people have um, genetic reasons for their teeth to be um, pretty bad. And um crowded and crooked and, and just bad gums and etc and it's not the end of the world it's something that's fixable you can have you know deep cleaning within the gums fillings and all that stuff that the dentist can take care of and have your regular um dentist checkups to make sure your mouth maintain its um hygiene so for me I was very, 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 very scared of this process. I've looked on YouTube videos like this one. <laughs> I've looked on YouTube videos on people doing, you know, their confessions, on their do's and don'ts, on um, what they should have done before veneers, and just the whole process in general. And I found um, <clears throat> a couple people with veneers, and they were very, very, very natural looking. Now, if you like the whole bright 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 white smile you know the box cut teeth look <laughs> that's that's you i'm not judging nobody that's you you like that kudos me i did not want that because when people think of veneers they because i told so many people and they're like oh my god don't get veneers you gotta look crazy you gotta, no 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 so i'm like uh yeah i'm doing my research and i'm going to have them as i want them so when I did the research process, I was looking for natural veneers. So veneers to look like my teeth, like as if I got braces and got my teeth straightened. So when I was looking for this process, I found a great place in Miami called Smile Mission, the Smile Mission. And I was looking at their reviews and they had pretty good reviews. So I was like, hmm, let me try this place. So it's been a week, guys. <laughs> so if I'm like little slipping and whatever, when I, while I talk, I'm still getting used to them in my mouth. Um, so yeah, I went to Smile Missions in Miami, which was very, very, very affordable. And when I seen their pictures on Instagram, everybody teeth, the veneer process is so natural. So it was a natural smile everybody had a natural beautiful smile and i'm like this is what i want i don't want somebody to do my teeth and say here's the mirror this is your smile you know and just give me 
what they want to give me. No, I want to have it specialized and I want to be specific in my details of how I want my teeth. And they listened to me the whole way. They listened to my process and they listened to what I wanted. And that's what I like about these veneers because they listened to me, they wrote it down, they put it in the notes by the person who was making these teeth to do for me. Okay, that's what I wanted. I wanted something very, 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 very specific because I did not want a process where I look back and say, oh no, I don't want these. Or, you know, when it's finalized, I want them to look how I want them to look, not how you want them to look. You know what I mean? So when I was explaining to them, I told them and she I was very afraid of this process. Um, I don't want them, I don't want them too big. I told them I didn't want them too small. I don't want them too long. <laughs> so it was definitely, definitely, and as you could see, they're just the right size and they fit my face completely. Uh, they made a few adjustments while doing it, like a few adjustments when they put them in for me, which gave them uh, I feel like they gave the teeth character. So I do not want them, you know, really, really boxed, like shh, shave it down, shave it down, whatever the case may be. I didn't want that. Um, I had an extraction right before I went down to Miami. So here I wanted to do um, a bridge, and unfortunately, they couldn't do it because my extraction didn't heal. So I have to go back and get the bridge and I'm going to go to them to get my bridge done um, probably in a few months um, to make my whole mouth complete and finito. So, you know, um, the color I picked was BL3. So BL1 was the whitest of the white, which I did not want because I didn't want my smile, like I said, to be that ooh, ooh, ooh. like oh okay so glow and dark scary no i don't want that <laughs> i don't want that no 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 um and my sister was like oh because of your complexion you could have pulled it off but i'm like no i want something natural bl2 was bright as well but like i said it was a little bit too bright for me um i had a crown here that was um natural white as well so he told me BL4, he matched it with the crown here. And I'm like, uh, can I see BL3? Because BL4 was a little bit too much on the natural side, which gave it like a yellowish undertone, which I did not want. Um, BL3 was on a natural white side. So it's basically like a white if you get your teeth whitened. Um, they're white in pictures. They're porcelain veneers, by the way. They're porcelain um, material, so they are... You know, they don't stain or whatever the case may be so I can eat whatever I want, drink whatever I want without worrying about staining and things like that. Um, so, yeah, so that is the whole process and the color that I picked was BL3. Um, like I said, I just wanted it natural and this is the bottom here. I did not want them even. He asked me, the dentist asked me if I wanted to shave them down and make them even. I wanted to give it character. I wanted to look like my teeth. So if you didn't, don't know me, you know, if you don't know me from a hole in the wall, you would look and say, oh, she has pretty teeth. You wouldn't say, oh, she has pretty veneers. <laughs> like you would not look and see that. Um, the dentist was mad cool, very empathetic when I told him that I was afraid of veneer, afraid of the needle. Um, the only thing that hurt and that was painful, I'm going to keep it 100% real, was the needle. The needle was huge, big, and painful. <laughs> they were, It was, and they had to do it on each cheek. It was very painful. And the guy kept it real with me, um, the guy that sat me down, I forgot his name. But he told me, like, the only thing that's going to be painful is the, the needle, the anesthesia needle. So I'm like, oh, God, you know. So... It wasn't like how when you get your teeth cleaned, that needle, when they put those, that little needle in your gum, which I'm a baby with that as well. It's not like that. It's, it was, it was a big needle. <laughs> it was a big needle. So that was the only painful part. But once you get past that, it numbs you very, very, very quickly. Um, once you get past that, then they get straight into the process, which for me, I got gum contouring, um, I already had a deep cleaning with my dentist probably six months ago, but I got a deep cleaning again. Um, 
I got gum contouring, deep cleaning. Uh, I'm trying to think if I got anything else. And just the veneers. I, I think I got three things, um, which was very, very, very affordable. Uh, so I got, I think I got eight veneers on top. I think I got eight veneers on top and eight on the bottom. Yeah, so I think I got 16. Overall, I got 16 veneers. I'm not sure. I think I got eight and eight. Yeah, I think I got eight and eight. With the bridge, it would have been 10 at the bottom. Yeah, with the veneers. I'm not veneers. With the bridge, it would have been 10 on the bottom, but I did not get the bridge. So I got 8 and 8, which was 16, which is perfect. Um, only thing I don't have, I don't have two veneers back here, and I don't have two veneers back here. And at the bottom, I have um, two here, or maybe three, and three here that does not have veneers on top of them. Um, and I will share with you the after process in part two of this video this video is pretty long so i'm going to minimize it and give you part two of the process and probably put some clips in when i was recording on my phone the whole thing so thank you guys for watching and i will put in the description box below the place in their instagram and their youtube channel where you can go and check them out they are amazing and they treated me amazing and i just wanted to recommend them for you and i love my new smile <laughs> i can't stop smiling you know everybody's complimenting me on my smile my sister was like, can you just stop smiling for five minutes? My sister had punked out and she did not get them with me last minute. So she's going to go back and get them at the same place in January. So let's see. And I might go back with her um, to get my bridge done if she goes back in January. So yeah, she punked out. She didn't even book her flight. <laughs> she didn't even book her flight, guys. Like she punked out on me. Like Come on. So yeah, I'm just loving the smile. This is it. It's just so pretty to me. I just love it. So yeah, guys, go and check them out. Smile Mission. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Check out my podcast. Go and buy my videos. Go and buy my videos. Go and buy my books. Hello. <laughs> Thank you guys for glowing up with Shay. And I will be back with part two.